Welcome back to my video series, Red Hat Process Automation Manager How To's. Today's topic is importing PAM projects from file system. I believe many of you have tried this. Click on here and download project to give a to get a zip file of your project. Right? So once you downloaded it, how are you going to import it back into PAM? There are usually two ways of doing it. The first way is that you put your project onto GitHub, and then you can always import it from GitHub. This works for both PAM running on VM as well as PAM running on OpenShift. The tricky part happened when you want to import it from a file system instead of from GitHub. You may ask, why do I want to uh, import it from file system? instead of a GitHub. One reason for that is, for example, you don't want to expose your project to the public because if you have a personal account and you put your project on GitHub, everybody can see it or download it, right? And maybe that's why you want to import it from a file system. For people who are running PAM on a VM, usually they have a success doing this. All they need to do is download the zip file from the VM save it on the VM, unzip it, run a few git commands to convert it into a git repository, and then you can import it from your uh, business central running on the same VM. The problem occurs when your PAM is actually running on OpenShift. Say I saved my zip file onto my local uh, file system, maybe I, I save it on my the MacBook, and then I unzipped it, one of few git commands convert it into a git repository and try to upload it again. So this is what you will encounter. I go to a particular workspace. I try to import it. So this is the directory where I have uh, my git repository on my file system. You import it, or oh, it looks promising you see that, well, you can actually detect it, so it seems. But when you click on OK, this is the issue you, are, you, you will encounter. It does not work. The reason why it does not work is that when you uh, specify file system, the file system has to be the same file system that is running Business Central. The reason why it works on a VM is you save it in a VM. Your file system path is on the file system that Business Central is running on the same VM, so you have no problem with it. So how are you going to like import it back into PAM running on OpenShift? So I'm going to show you how. First of all, you have to go to the uh, OpenShift console. Identify the Business Central port, click on it, one terminal. The trick here is, first of all, you have to get the zip file that you save onto the file system on which Business Central is running. And that's why I want to get into this port by the terminal. There are two ways you can get the zip file in there. Like the first way is you can, well, if you're, you have a, a server that is uh, accessible from the internet, then you can SCP it over. So to save time, I have uh, created a script to do that. It's called script my zip.sh. If I run it, Now I get my zip file over now. So I can unzip it, run a few git command, convert it into a git repository and import it from there. What if you don't have a server that you can actually 
access from the internet. There is another trick that you can use is to use the admin functions here. Artifact. What you have to do is first change your file name. For example, it's called myspace underscore uc1.zip. You change your extension from zip to jar. And then what you want to do is want to upload it. Download. Jar. You say upload. Click OK. So you need to uh, give it the uh, coordinates. Group. Let's say, well, use some uh, strange name so that uh, make sure that it's not going to have a collision with your other projects. Give it a version number, whatever. Upload. Successful. Now let's get back to the uh, Business Central terminal. So you can have a look at uh, what where this particular uh, jar file is. Now just do a find dot. Repository name uc one jr. So you know that your file is here. Next thing you want to do is to unzip it, right? In this particular case, it's uncharted, just using the jar utility. C, uh, C, X, V, F. Let's look. So it have created this project called project. So I just want to change it to UC1. Change to UC1. Path is this. All right. Before I do that, I need to run a couple of a uh, field uh, git command to convert it into a git repository. Git init. Git add everything, and then git commit. And that's it. Now you can go back into projects. Projects. Let's get to the spaces. Choose how to uh, another namespace. Import file. This is the path we just saved. Now we can specify that. Import, click, OK. Now it's importing everything. Just to summarize, the trick for it to work is first of all, you have to use some kind of mechanism to get your zip file, uh, project zip file into the file system on which Business Central is running. And then you unzip it or unjar it and then run a few git commands to convert into a git repository. And once you've done that, you can go back and import it. And that is all it is to it. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been useful to you. Thank you.